Stevenson falls to Messiah 2-1 here at Owings Mills East. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, um, an unbelievable effort, and I know there's a lot of disappointment about them scoring the two in the final six minutes. How do you measure you know, the disappointment on one side versus the effort that your team had to be right there with the, one of the best teams in the country? Well, you can see that there. You know, the guys are barely disappointed, and that's what we told them. We said, hey, we're so proud of you guys. I mean, you took them for 80, 84, 85 minutes all the way to the end, and uh, I mean, the fight, the game plan, the execution, the work rate, you know, a lot of those guys played a lot of minutes, and to take the number one team in the country, I think that's as close as, you know, anybody's been with them apart from their, their one tie they got. We were right there, and uh, so it is disappointing, but so proud of the effort. The guys just, the guys have really came along these last few weeks when conference play, when it really matters. And and now, hey, the, the goal is to try and win on Saturday, and then you know, and and hopefully see them again. I want to talk about that because you had that seven-game losing streak, and now you had results in three straight, and then this effort tonight. What's changed for this team? What has it required for them to buy in and be in position to get into the tournament and have a chance to make some noise? Well, I think we all had to change. It starts with me. I had to change. I had to be uh, better with the guys, more communication, be more positive. And, uh, you know, you probably saw the difference uh, in me on the sidelines. So, you know, I listened to them and, and then they listened to us and, and what we expect from them. And, and so, you know, that losing streak was tough, especially when you're playing teams that you know you can beat. And, um, you know, some close ones there that we lost, some really good teams like Mary Washington and, uh, you know, uh, Johns Hopkins. Um, but those those games, like, they, they built this team to be here for tonight. And you saw that like they've stayed together their family they work hard they've listened to the coaches i've listened to them and they went out tonight and and uh, you know you know it's a new game it's a new day and just so proud of them and so close yeah. so close an opportunity and, and i and i heard you guys talk about it right there could be a chance to do it again and the, you know what you learn from this um, how, how do you take that forward, make sure you get the result on Saturday, and then give yourself that opportunity maybe to try to pull it off? Yeah, we can't dwell on it, right? So we got to move on, watch the video back, be ready for a, a different type of team on Saturday, um, and then go from there and just do our homework. And that's what we've been doing every game. And, um, you know, just great atmosphere tonight. It was great to have the men's lacrosse team come over. Thanks to Coach Canabeni for, for finishing practice when he saw the halftime score. And, uh, you know, just a great night here at you know, the new East Campus. And I, I was really impressed with the crowd. And, just the whole atmosphere and I thought you know it could have been something special but hey told the guys for 85 minutes that was really special so we'll move on from that and uh, and build off that coach appreciate it we'll see you back out here on Saturday thanks very much Glenn he's Graham Miller I'm Glenn Clark go Mustang Sports TV